Welcome back, Homestead, Mississippi. I'm not wearing a Texas shirt today. <laughs> Just having a little fun yesterday. And uh, introduce you to old Bob. <laughs> he's a sweet boy, good boy. Ain't your buddy. But whoo, he stinks. Woo. Oh, oh, yeah, he stinks. He's a boy. He's 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 a big male goat. And uh, if you don't know, they like, well. They pee all over themselves, and he stinks, and he does, but he is a good, sweet boy. Ain't you, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. So, he's going to give us some wool. Yep. You can get wool from goats if you didn't know. We got some shearers coming. We're going to shear him. He's got some girlfriends across town over here. We've got some friends who have some females, and we're going to let him have a little fun with them and go or a uh, buck with an angora does and we're going to increase the size of this farm out here with angoras then we've got these girls here they're sweet they're they're mixed breeds but they're good girls ain't you yeah these yeah we're not certain what they are i was going to tell you what they are but i don't know <laughs> so anyway i'm hoping they're bred they're good goats sweet not all of them are as sweet as these. Some of them are a lot more skittish. We got them. That's just the way they came. But anyway, today, just to give you a heads up, we got a little project we're going to work on. We're going to do some cleaning in the chicken pen. Bob's chewing on me. Uh, anyway, boy, look, look at this. He thinks it tastes good, I guess. Boy. All right, so <laughs> he's chewing. We're gonna clean up the chicken pen. It's a mess. Remember the water problem I had with the goats? Yeah, we're having water problem with. Well, you, he's eating me good. Bob, come here. Stand here. There we go. Side by side. Maybe he won't chew on me. So uh, we're having the same problem in the chicken pen. The water and. I have one great comment asking, say, why don't you move them to a higher ground? Great idea. Terrific idea. I'd love to be able to do that, but the existing structures that we have, and of course money, because we'd have to build a structure, we'd have to build something to get for them to go under, and um, ooh, time and expense trying to take down what we already have. It'd be huge. Um, hey, maybe one day we'll do that if we find out that, if we throw down the quick creed, if that's not going to be a, a good solution. I think it's going to work out fine, though. Um, but the way it's situated up here is we've got this drainage problem coming off this hill. Uh, the whole property goes uphill. Well, the rest of the property up here is in woods. And I want to keep them as close to Togo and as close as the donkeys to keep away the, uh, the coyotes. So far, we've been very successful. Hadn't had any problems with, with uh, coyotes, foxes, nothing like that coming in on these goats. So, of course, with Bob, well, you're trying to eat everything, ain't you? With Bob, I wouldn't be too worried about him anyway. Look at these old horns. He's a big boy. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you around a little bit more, too. Um, Maya's got some beans that she's planted, and I'm wanting to show you uh, what she's got. We're going to dry some of those, and when we get the garden, it's going to be right up behind me up here through the woods and you can't really see it now we're gonna do the garden up there where we've got good drainage <laughs> you're a trip boy and um we're gonna plant beans tomatoes corn all kinds of stuff we got plenty we got a full acre we can uh do a garden on up there uh boy he just won't stop i must taste good hi you made me feel good boy he may i'm anyway Hey, uh, we'll be back here in a few minutes. We'll get started, and I'll show you around a little bit more, too. So I'm out here now with Maya. Just wanted to show off her little beans. This is my baby girl. This is Maya. This is my baby. So she um, planted these beans, and now they're growing. 
How long ago did you plant them, baby? Um, these ones? I, yeah, you not mean. those. Oh, that's not beans. Those are basil. Basil? Yeah, the beans that you planted. A few, actually months ago, I believe. These ones I'm just saving to plant more. And then I have some sprouts over here. A flower here is turning into a bean. And then I have some sprouts over here that should be growing pretty soon. I'm not sure if I have any more though. And then I have some chickpeas, five of them. This one, this one, that one, and that one. Hmm. And what are we going to do with these next year? We're going to plant them up in the garden? Yes. Some of the beans from these? And get a large harvest, huh? That's my baby girl. So the boys were insistent that I show you their little garden they planted with their grandmother. So we're over here. What you got there, Eli, right in front of you? All of these tiny plants. Nana one grow whole garden of peppers. Oh, those are peppers, like bell peppers. And these are your cucumbers, huh? Yes, sir. You want me to pull this one off and grab it and eat it real quick? No, no sir. You sure? I think people would love to see us eat your fresh cucumber straight from the vine, huh? What do you say? Too. Yeah, Maya will do it. So what else you got in here, boys? These another we've bell pepper these, here. We've got these tomatoes here and ta -da! tomatoes. Ta -da! Oh, and what is that? A baby pepper. A baby pepper. Okay. Tomato has not produced anything in it. And what's this here, Eli? That's Mama's lemon balm. Lemon balm. And Daddy, Daddy, one tomato right here. We've got another one here, and I think there's one. Right there. Don't touch them. Uh, it's off. It's all right, buddy. There's going to be plenty more to grow. Yeah. All right. What are these white things? Oh wow. Oh, white things. Look at what the white things are on. Oh, a giant bug. It, what kind of bug is that? A caterpillar. It's a worm that's going to do what? Eat the So what do we need to do? Call the chicks. Chick, 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 chick. Call the chicks. Yeah. Grab the worm. Just grab him. I don't know. Don't be scared I... of that thing. I think those are probably eggs on its back. Yuck. All right. I Let's don't... grab this. Let's call the chicks over. Chick, 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 chick. Ooh, that thing's on there good. Come off, you. Stop, stop hitting it. Call the chickens over. Here, chick, 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 chick. Here, chick, 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 chick. Ooh. some eggs on you. Oh. Yeah. Threw it over there. Let's go see if we can find it. He tried to eat them kill the worms before they eat our vegetables. Let's see where he was. Tossed him over. And the chicks didn't see it. Where'd he go? He came over here somewhere. A green worm in green grass. Any bets whether or not we can find it? Huh? Huh? What's this? What's that? <laughs> Found it. Yeah, chick, 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 chick. Yeah, chick, chick, chick. Let's see if we can give them a treat. Hey, chick, chick. Oh, she found it. <laughs> Look at there. What was meant for evil turned out good. Feed for our chicks. Free feed. <laughs> Okay, so we're out here at the chicken run now and the chicken house. So it's a little rough. Please don't judge. Don't judge me. Ah! All right, watch out, chick chicks. Watch out, chick chicks. We got a couple different breeds in here. We got these silver spangled Hamburgs. And then we've got some, uh, those things there. Hey, what are you? Oh, and that one there, I think, is an Americana. Or a lot of folks call them Easter Eggers. They're Cuckoo Marines. Okay, that's what they're called. 
And that thing there is a, I think that might be a meat chicken. I don't know. Yeah, that's a cuckoo marine. No, that's a cuckoo marine. What's this one here? Yeah, we don't know what that one is. It's a chicken. It's a meat chicken. It's a chicken. No, that's not a meat chicken. Hey, won't you let that one in? All right, so here is our disgusting chicken house. All right, so over here we've got silkies. And then we got Americanas in with the silkies. And what's that thing? What is, is that, is that Porky the pig? No, it's the turkey. Yeah, we don't have pigs. We don't do that. Chickens are dirty enough. So, as you can see, we got a mess here. I got some makeshift uh, fencing here to separate some from the others. We're going to do a whole lot better job. And um, that's what we're here to do today. So, what happened is we grew so fast. We got so many chickens, so many animals, and we just had not enough time to really do everything the way we should have, which is why I've got this little fence here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to move this fence. And uh, we're going to start by taking this thing here down, maybe shorten it so they still have something they can perch on. And then I'm going to take this fence up here and bring it across over here. And i um, going to do a lot better job with that. It, it looks horrible right now. So we're going to split this in half, give them a larger area. They've got a nice area with grass on their side out their door. Um, so they've actually got a better outside area than these chickens over here. They've just got a long straight run, which isn't bad either. So, and of course these chicks can get out and they go over with the uh, goats. So they can get in there over there at times. And um, so we're gonna clean all this up and um, we're gonna take that feeder right there down. It's kind of more in the way than anything. We're gonna move this and, and um, probably clean up a little bit in this floor, I'm not certain. We have some floor damage down here on the walls from the water. All right. And uh, so we got to fill this, these little holes in, fix this wall. And eventually I'm wanting to put quick creed in here so these chicks have something a little more stable. Um, you can see this wall is a whole lot better. It's higher. And up to a point, it's concrete. I think I'm making him nervous. Yeah, that's a rooster there if you want not certain. I think. You a rooster? That is a rooster. Yeah, that is a rooster. Give me a crow. So it's a hot day here in Mississippi. Sweating pretty good, but we're gonna get this done. First thing we're gonna have to do is separate these chickens, get them out there in the chicken run, keep them out of our way in here. So that's what we're gonna do um, first, and then we're gonna get to work. He wanted to learn how to use the lawnmower, the push mower today, and well, he just hit a little bit of a stick, so he stopped. But he's doing a terrific job. Let's see if he can get it started again. He's doing a great job. 
I see. <laughs> uh. There you go, almost. Come on. Push with your body, pull with your arm. Come on. You can do it. Eli, I can try. <laughs> oh, baby brother wants to try. Big brother's tired. Let's see if they can do it together. Let's see. You gotta push, Gabriel. <laughs> this is awesome. How you gonna get it? Oh, oh, there it was. Two more. Don't fall. Don't pull that thing on you. Eli, hold, hold it with Gabriel. Both of you push it together. There you go. <laughs> oh, oh, Gabriel wants to try the, the pool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, all right, Eli, you had a break. Swap back. Try it again. Oh, get rolling. There you Come on. Can I try one more time? All right, try one more time. Yeah, it was like one and a half more times, but. Oh, it, it, it wanted to. Oh, it wanted to. There it is! They got it going! Yeah. Proud daddy moment. <laughs> They're doing great. I love these kids working. I love them being out here and wanting to work. They love it. I love it. We love being out here together. This is what it's about. So we're having a little bit of an emergency in between cleaning up the chicken coop. We have Abigail, our Nubian goat, and it looks like she's in heat. And she's in with about four boys they've been good so far because they were a lot younger than her so we're gonna have to separate her to make sure whoever we want her to be with is the one she's with so that's what we're going to do now is go get Abigail All right. so Abigail is the black one that's Lincoln we got Abraham down here oh get him off please so um she is uh, driving them crazy so we're gonna get her out all right Genesis grab her Watch out, boys. We're going to bring Abraham. Get her. Yeah, Abraham can go. <laughs> Abraham. All right, we've got these two out. We're going to take them to our electrified area right over there, Genesis. These boys are already missing her. All right, so we've got these guys over here now in this area. And we're gonna have to do a quick shelter for them. As you can see, we've got this uh, sectioned off with this netting electric fence. And um, we'll have to get them a little water. Um, and there's the two we wanna be together. So, Abraham is the male, the white and black fella with the brown on the back. He was born in January with his brother he's a boer dappled boer and she's a nubian so we want her bread so we can start getting the milk and she's beautiful very sweet both of these are very sweet very well-natured goats all right so we're going to connect our electric fence here make sure it's good Can hear it? Eli, come here, buddy. Grab this real quick. Let's see if it's on. Come on. I would rather on. with one of those two touches. <laughs> or I would... Ah, kids. Come on, just grab it. Like right, this. You ready? Maybe a few. Y'all ready? I grab it. Yeah. I like to watch it. All right, it. here it goes. Nah. It, it, it's on. I can hear it. <laughs> there he is. There's the boy. There's the girl. She's a little over a year old. I think they're enjoying this fresh new grass over here. Aren't you, girl?
So we may have to take a pause on the uh, chicken coop and come out here and try to see what we can do. We may go ahead and stretch this on out and go around and give them the donkey house for now. The donkeys really don't care. They barely go in there and um, move the feeding trough for the donkeys out so they can be fed over here closer to that gate. And um, give these two that little stall there, close them in. And then all we have to do is give them some water. That sound good, kids? Sounds good. Okay, so we've got the fence moved. We got it turned back on. Oops. And I think we're just gonna call this the love shack. Good little place for them to be and hang out and in the shade and relax out here for the two of them. And let's see how they're doing in here. I think they're probably wanting a little privacy now. So there they are eating some salt hanging out together thank you okay so amazing discovery up here in the woods on a break this is kind of why a lot of things don't get done on the farm because you take a break and wow something new happens or you find something new like up here let me show you what we got a whole patch of chanterelle mushrooms they're all the way up in here so we're gonna pick them so we can eat them all right boys folks here we are chanterelle mushrooms hey i'm not an expert so if these ain't chanterelle tell me Woo, please it'll probably be too late we're gonna eat them anyway <laughs> hey so um we didn't get everything done like we wanted to today but whoo, it's been a day <laughs> we had a chicken coop we're going to have mushroom soup. <laughs> uh, great day. Every day is like this on the farm. We love it. It's hot. I don't know if you can tell or not. And um, the goats are fine. We got Abigail moved. And she's over there with Abraham and Lincoln. We put them both over there because they're both boer goats. And we wouldn't mind her mating with all those fellas. So we got both, all three of them moved in a pen. Just three of them. And um, they've got food and water and they're taken care of. And we got about halfway with that chicken coop, if even halfway. Part of the problem with that is mama had to take her mama to the doctor today, so she wasn't here with me to help, and that's hers. Chickens are hers. I don't do chickens. I'm the goat guy. So anyway, we're gonna go in with these chanterelles and call it a night. Hope to tune in next time, and please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Hope you're enjoying it, and um, hope to see you soon. I'm having fun.